devotion and our, ver and our, fast our fasting, being vigilant in completing our acts of ibadah, trying to be gentle in our speech, trying to be dignified in our actions and conduct, and a time during which we try our best to fill our hearts with love and affection for Allah and love and affection for each other when we came and made salah together every night. Insha'Allah, in the year that lies ahead of us, let us try to continue in this manner, in the best of our ability. Let us now in this masjid, let us resolve to build on this and to increase our spiritual fortitude. Here again, the life of Imam Abdullah Harun provides us with a great and a noble example indeed. Some of us may not know that Imam Harun undertook to fast every Monday and Thursday. <coughs> he was not only emulating a great prophetic sunnah because this is indeed what the Prophet wasallam did. But Imam Harun was also fulfilling another, an oath, when he completed his tattoo-year studies in Mecca under the great Sheikh Abdul Rahman Alawi in 1940 at the tender age of 16 and he had to return at, at the outbreak of the Second World War. The teacher asked him, if you go home, what will you do? One said, we will, my family will build the masjid. Another said something else. Imam Harun said, I have nothing to give. And he made another that he will fast every Monday and Thursday to his teacher. Without a doubt, this fasting and those who are witness and close to him can attest to the fact that Imam Harun faithfully tried to honor this, this another, this commitment until his death at the age of 45. Without a doubt, fasting developed an inner, inner spiritual fortitude that nourished the Imam and made him resilient during his grueling and torturous time in jail. Beloved brothers and sisters, now that we have reached the end of Ramadan, let us emulate the sunnah of the Prophet Let us follow the example and the legacy of Imam Abdullah Harun and try our best to take with us some of the blessings of the month of Ramadan and adopt a small part of it by fasting occasionally and nurturing the inner spiritual strength that such ibadah brings. We can start, for example, by doing the sunnah fasting during the six days of Shawwal or by resolving to fast at least three times a month. On the authority of Abu Ayyub al-Ansari, radiallahu anhi relates that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Man saama Ramadan, thumma atba'ahu sittan min shawwal, faka'annama saama al-dahr. Whoever fasts during the month of Ramadan, and then follows it up with six days of fasting during the month of shawwal, he will be rewarded as if he or she had been fast, had fasted the entire year. According to Imam Ahmad ibn Hanbal, one may choose to fast any six days of the blessed month of Shawwal. Beloved brothers and sisters, let us resolve here to take forward the great levels of ikhlas, of sincerity, of sakina, of tranquility, of khushur, of humility and devotion in our prayers, of most and most all tasqiyya to nafs, self-discipline, and inner spiritual rejuvenation fostered during the past month. Let us resolve to work to sustain and to nourish these beautiful characteristics during the coming year, insha'Allah. I call upon each and every member of us to reflect upon the abundant lessons to be found in the life of Imam Harun at this time when we are commemorating 40 years since his Shahada. I call upon each and every one of us to work and to assist each other in making this masjid one of the leading Islamic centers in South Africa and the world in the mold that Imam Harun envisioned for us. 
on this blessed day of Eid al-Fitr, which coincides with the anniversary of the martyrdom of Imam Harun, let us remember his family. Let us pay tribute to all other spouses, children and parents who have lost a loved one because he or she gave their lives in the service of others and in the cause of Allah. Let us today and every day celebrate all people who spend their lives helping to make the world a better place for all. And most of all, let us pray that Allah, the most compassionate, the most merciful, helps us all to emulate their noble examples. Allahumma habib ilayna al-Iman wa zayinu fi qulubina wa karrih ilayna al-kufra wa al-fusuqa wa al-isyan wa ja'alna min al-rashidin wa ja'alna min al-muttaqin wa ja'alna min ibadika al-salihin Rabbana atina fi al-dunya hasana wa fi al-akhirat hasana wa qina azab al-nar wa adakhinna al-jannat ma'a al-abarar Ya Aziz, Ya Rabbar يا رب العالمين عباد الله أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن الله يأمر بالعدل والإحسان وإيتاء ذي القربى وينهى عن الفحشاء والمنكر والبغي يعظكم لعلكم تذكرون فاذكروا الله العظيم يذكركم واشكروه على نعمه يزدكم واسألوه من فضله يعطكم ولذكر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد كما تعيش قوم إيد سعيد ومبارك كل عام وأنتم بخير مع السلامة والصحة May your entire year be filled with goodness, peace and health I Islamic for the Baram I also thank you for your patience with me this morning I hope inshallah that you will try to get a full copy of the version of this khutbah which is online, and you can also buy a hard copy and come along, those of us who are so inclined next Sunday morning when we are commemorating the 27th of September, inshallah, and to help us so that we may be able to implement some of these ideas or to tweak them or to come with new ideas so that, inshallah, we may reinvigorate this masjid and our institution. Shukran Jazeera. Thank you for your patience. And Eid Sa'id Mubarak.